Volume licensing, how does it work? If you aren't sure how volume licensing works or if you find it confusing, you're not alone. We'll break it down for you in this video. Now, if you're planning on implementing a solution to reimage your computers with a tool like MDT or Semantic Ghost or Smart Deploy or even Fog or Clonezilla, your company will need to gain special reimaging rights from Microsoft. If you don't, you could find yourself getting out of compliance with how you distribute Windows to your endpoint devices. Volume licensing may seem like another annoying hoop to jump through and another hit to your IT budget, but the process is actually pretty straightforward. In short, there are two main things Microsoft wants you to know about volume licensing. The first is that you don't need to repurchase Windows. Let's say you just ordered 100 new laptops and they all came preloaded with Windows 10 Pro pre-installed. That's great. Now, if you'd like to re-image those 100 laptops with your corporate image, then you're going to need to have a Microsoft Volume Licensing Agreement. And to get started with a Microsoft Volume Licensing Agreement, the minimum number of licenses to purchase is five, but only one of those would need to be a Windows 10 Pro Volume License Upgrade. Pretty okay, yeah? Just five licenses total, which in most cases is only a couple hundred bucks. And all this is so long as you're re-imaging those computers with the same version and addition and language of Windows. The second is that volume licensing will make tracking easier on you. You'll have a single volume license key to use for all of your machines, even if you're using different OEMs. And speaking of OEMs, as a pro tip, order your new systems with the version of Windows you intend to deploy and use, if you don't already have an agreement. You don't want to order systems with Windows 10 Home to bring your cost down when you really want Windows 10 Pro or Enterprise. It'll just end up costing way more in the long run. Also, we've been asked about upgrade or downgrade rights, and there are some specific limitations, especially when you're upgrading from Windows 10 Home, so be sure to check out that Microsoft documentation for those specifics. Some upgrade paths aren't even available as part of this five-pack option, so you'll have to license via the retail upgrade or upgrade via the Microsoft Store to get on Windows 10, the, the version you need anyway. Our friend Chris from Microsoft has created some great resources over in the Spiceworks community for stuff like this. And we'll have those links below for you to get there. He's our go-to guy for those tough licensing questions and we enjoy working with him. So, I hope that this clears things up and helps with making the switch to volume licensing so that you can get started on implementing your image solution. Just work with your favorite res reseller to uh, get your volume license agreement and you'll be good to go. And don't forget, we left some helpful links in the description for you. Uh, you can subscribe for more helpful tips on imaging and other IT stuff if you like, and we will see you next time.